All right. Hi. How are you? I'm all right. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Kindly introduce yourself. Thank you for having me. My name is Cynthia Kimathi. I am Mrs. Heritage International Kenya 2023. So for how long have you been holding the title? I've been reigning for around three months now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is it that has stood out for you uh, in these three months? The warm welcome and the embrace of the people of Kenya. I have been attending different cultural festivals across the country to try and learn more about their cultures and their traditions. I've also approached different organizations like the National Museum of Kenya to try and collaborate and partner with them in matters heritage. And everyone has welcomed me warmly. So that has been very outstanding, outstanding, I must say. And what does this title mean to you, say, at a personal level? This title means everything to me. I'm an advocate of cultural heritage, an ambassador. I like to protect, promote, and preserve our cultural heritage. So to me, this is not just a crown, you know, it's who I have been for quite some time. So this is very important to me. This means that uh, you are going to represent over 40 tribes Absolutely. in Kenya. Absolutely. Everybody. And I intend to go everywhere and learn every small, you know, thing so that I learn about all the 42 tribes of the country. Well, it looks like uh, you've been busy for the last three months, so to say. I have been quite busy, I must admit. I was at Kamel Dabi in Samburu to see how the people of Samburu live, what's their culture, what's their traditions. I got to see the rest, which was quite interesting, I must add. I also got to see the huts. The construction of the hats which was mind-blowing because the women making you know constructing the hats really? so that was yeah that was very interesting for me to, to you know to learn i uh, there were so many uh, key speakers that spoke about so many things in terms of culture and traditions and how it is eminent you know it is very important for us to preserve it yeah i was also at the Ura Gate festival in taraka that was also another amazing experience for me i got to learn about uh, the people of the raka their dance you know and everything around their their culture so just to take you back at the international camel derby in samburu we saw that uh, you were being taken through their culture what is it that you can say about that compared to other cultures you have interacted with us Mrs. Heritage. What, what stood out for me differently is the people of Samburu love color. All the colors of, you know, of the world, they embrace them and they showcase them in different ways compared to the people of Maasai who use specific colors that have specific meanings to them. Yeah. We understand that uh, you are going to represent the country in Thailand this month, yeah? Tell us about it. I am to represent the country in Thailand uh, from November 17th. I come back on November uh, on November 27th. So I have been undergoing a lot of training. We have partnered with a gym called Lennox Gym in Raqqa that is supporting me in terms of getting ready physically because I need that. I've also partnered with Nivia Debra, who is my model instructor or coach for this pageant. I've also partnered with the National Museum for my introduction video and so many other aspects that I'm able to learn and so many other partners who have come in in support of my journey. So what is it that uh, you are hoping to share to the world about Kenya? My intention, first and foremost, is to remind the world that Kenya is the cradle of mankind. Most people forget that, you know, this is home. This is where everyone came, so, came from. So everyone should come back home and experience, you know, the magic that is Kenyan heritage, uh, uh, what, what it was like for Kenya and what it is like right now. Are there any hurdles you have uh, faced during your preparation to this international pageant? Uh, so far, the biggest challenge we've had is, you know, financial constraints in terms of it. It's quite involving in terms of, you know, finances, especially if you're taking an international trip to go represent the country. So that has been a challenge. But we are trying to call on for partnerships and sponsorships so that we're able to realize this for now, for this pageant and throughout my reign mm -hmm. for one year. So yeah. let's say apart from that everything is a go right yes everything is a yes 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 everything is a go so far i'm well prepared very prepared to bring the the crown back home where it belongs yeah and what will that mean to you everything we are going to be like the center of the world in terms of heritage with the crown and i get to take my heritage and also get to learn about heritage of other you know countries and continents which is going to be a very good thing before we come to the end of our conversation cynthia is there anything that you'd like to tell our audience i'd like to call on the audience to support me on heritage of pageants kenya where we share our reels our videos our photos we've been and the upcoming events as well also at the heritage pageants international that's where we get to share our photos that my photo is there 
so you can like the photo so that you can get you know more more mileage on that as well and the introduction video will be posted there soon as well like it and share it thank you so much thank you all the best <laughs> thank you